you guys know this is a business empowerment zoom And um, my partner Shane and I, uh, we just wanted to kind of tell you all a little bit about ourselves and what we have done uh, personally, individually, as well as as a team, because we're living in this uh, time right now where the pandemic is affecting all of us. It's affecting all of us. It's affecting our families, our loved ones, our friends. So naturally, we're trying to find ways to stay afloat, to, you know, make do, pay the bills, you know, keep roofs over our heads, um, pay our, our car notes. But um, the thing about it is a lot of people don't realize that it's a lot um, easier to do this by means of a business. So that's why we're gonna tell you a little bit about our stories. We could talk about business all day. But first we wanna really introduce ourselves to you because you guys don't know us from the man in the moon, but we just here to tell you that we're regular people just like you. Um, and I personally, as far as my, my situation, I am, I have never been to college. I don't have any degrees, but I study like crazy and I research like crazy. So um, there are a lot of things that I've done in my life over time. And just from doing these things, see there's someone asking for the password. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, doing doing these things and becoming good at them i've learned how to make them you know make a business out of my habits and hobbies and the stuff that i became good at so um one of those things was i remember when i was in high school my dad got me um, a membership to a, a health club at bally's at the time they went out of business but you know that was then so for years i um I, just, I was a, a workout-aholic, and so eventually I made that my passion. I made fitness my passion. Um, that's one of my passions. Another one of my passions is um, holistic wellness. So even though, um, you know, I've never, which actually I have, I've, I've taken um, a course, and I've also had to me, which is better than any course, is having some mentors. I've had at least three mentors in my life who have helped me along the way. Um, one of them indirectly because she mentored my mother. Um, she's actually my mother's, she's actually my cousin, how many times removed? She's my great grandmother's cousin she's my great grandmother's cousin her name was dr alvenia fulton this woman if you've never heard of her she's someone out of chicago um, who actually mentored elijah muhammad and dick gregory and um she was really big a big name in chicago and just you know in the even with um celebrities she taught my mom a lot of what my mom knew before of course before she passed away um, and so they instilled those things into me and my brothers. So because of it, I've been able to make, uh, you know, holistic wellness my passion. I started a business with that. I have products, um, you know, so that's another one of my passions. The other thing is um, I was always the one to, in my household, do all the budgeting and all the finances. So um, for years, my husband and I would sit in front of a CPA and she, would, she, was, um, she was very good at what she did. Um, she would teach us how to itemize and she would tell us the things that were important for making sure that you get good money back every year on your taxes. 
And sitting in front of her all those years and, you know, going through um, the painstaking process <laughs> of getting our taxes done taught us a lot. And so eventually um, I started doing taxes. I took some classes um, with like some continuing education classes with um, IRS sponsored networks and got a few certificates, so I started doing that. But like, really, the thing that I'm here to talk to you guys about today is the fact that whatever you have as your passion is something that you can very easy, easily and effortlessly make into a business. But before we really start getting into all of that, I also want to introduce my partner, Shane, and let him tell you guys a little bit about himself as well. I don't want to hog up, take up all the time. Hmm. No, you're fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so like July, you know, I took uh, uh, a business class. Uh, we, we came from the same business class. It's a couple of that took that same class and uh you know i learned a lot from it i was able to uh first of all i failed a lot i made a lot of mistakes um with money uh fine you know my finances and i was trying to find a way to become financially free um so you know, I, I kept hearing, uh, you know, hey, you need to start your own business. You need to do this. That's the only way that you'll be able to get financially free. Uh, free. I am. Uh, I was. I was a nine to five junkie. I was looking for the next job and trying to say, OK, uh, these people are going to take care of me. You know, they have my best interest at heart. They are going to put money in my pocket and, you know, I'll be OK. Well, I went to college. I got my degree uh, in business, in finance and accounting. And when I got out into the to the business world after I finished college, because, you know, college is not the real world. College is just a, a holding pattern for everybody uh, before they get out and say, OK, now you got to make some money and make a make a living for yourself. Uh, so once I once I got out of college. And, you know, I went into banking and I went into uh, retail sales and, you know, I just found out that, you know, I need to be on my own and make my own money and be in charge of myself. Um, <clears throat> when I finally decided to do that, uh, you know, I stepped out on my own and created my first business and, you know, I did okay. I, uh, you know, I made a little bit of money here and there, but it wasn't where it was supposed to be. I didn't start making real money until after I took uh, my business class from, uh, I would say a mentor. Like July said, you have to have a mentor. You have to have somebody that has been through this and has made the mistakes to come in and tell you, hey, you messing up or you doing something well, or hey, this is how you can improve. So right now I'm in the stage where I am improving on everything that I have been. We can have murder it, and it goes to our to the address, our mailing address. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I uh, am in the stage of bettering myself, and actually am able to teach people how to get them off of a nine to five and into a space where you're in control of what you make and, you know, how you're able to live. So, uh, you know, that's what I do now. Uh, right now I have four businesses uh, that, I, that I manage. And, you know, now we're going to, you know, just start talking about the advantages of having those uh, uh creating a business for yourself and then be able being able to uh make money and save money and have things because at the end of the day that's what people want to do they want to have things and so that's what that's my mission that's my goal and i know that's everybody else's goal in here or else you wouldn't be here right now 
So that that's that's me. And you know, so July, you wanna go ahead and and start? Sure, yeah. So um let's see, where can I start? Um first of all, I wanna encourage everybody to um just kind of like broaden your minds. Um know that the way we were conditioned um, is not necessarily the way things, you know, have to be. Um, one of the things that I like to tell people is that having a business is so expected of you in this country that the IRS allows each person to apply for and gain one EIN number per day. So every day, everybody in this group, everybody in the world who has a social security number can go and acquire an EIN number, an employer identification number. So that right there should kind of open your mind up to help you to see that it's okay to start your own business. Does it have to be perfect? What's perfect? Is anything perfect in this world? Um, we've all been conditioned to think that, you know, big corporations and, you know, um, household names and all these things are the only thing that really, you know, can be constituted as a business, but that's the furthest from the truth. Once we decide as an individual with a social security number to go out and start a business with an EIN number, which completely separates you from yourself, you now have a business structure that's just like everybody else out there. You get the same perks, you get um, your your um, in a better position position on your taxes, um, which for me that's the number one thing. That's that's what made me do it. When I realized that I could um, do more uh, with my taxes with a business because of my CPA, I was okay after that. And um, you have to get someone on your team who's creative. Um, and you, these days, you know, with the, with the internet and social media and everything, it's so easy to find people and it's so easy to find information. Like any information that you're going to receive here tonight from Shane and I is stuff you can YouTube. I mean, everybody knows basically that you can YouTube practically anything. Which brings me to the next thing. Sometimes people feel like, well, I never really thought about having a business. What could I do, you know? What could I possibly um, put out as a service or a product? But, you know, that takes me back to what I was saying about, um, you know, some of your hobbies or passions or things that you're good at, whether it's your passion or not. Maybe you're good at cooking. Maybe you're good at baking. Maybe you're good at ideas. Um, I don't know if a lot of you have heard of um, this uh, community, this website called Fiverr.com. You can get on there with whatever talent you have. Register with Fiverr.com. It's kind of like an um, amateur um, freelance.com or something like that. You can go on Fiverr and you can get anything done. Not only can you get help from people to do things for you, but you can also provide your services on there. And if you decided to do something like that, that's the perfect um, time to get yourself an employer identification number. And um, when you do that, of course, you know, there are certain steps you can take. We're not really here to talk about all of that kind of stuff, you know, all the particulars and the ins and outs of getting your business formation documents, all that. If that's something that anybody's interested in, they can see, you know, us at another time. But right now, we're just kind of here to let people know that this is something that anybody and everybody can do. Um, another thing that a lot of people are uh, 
they may concern themselves with when they want to start a business is um, uh, my that market is saturated. You know, I like health and wellness too, just like July, but there's so many people doing it. How could I stand a chance? Well, basically, when it comes to whatever it is that you want to do, all of us here today and everybody else in the world is just as unique as your fingerprint. So, I mean, you know, you ask yourself, what does that mean? What is what I'm saying is that the way I do something is not going to be the same way you do it. And the other thing that makes us stand apart is our stories or our journeys. So, like, if I wanted to really pull people into my story, I can start telling them a little bit about who I am and where I've come from. And um, all the odds that I had to beat. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, um, if I started getting into my story, oh, my goodness. Like, <laughs> that right there is enough to, and we all, ha we all have one. We all have a story. That like if I started telling you guys about, you know, um, the uh, trials that I've experienced in my marriage, you know, some of the things that I had to endure um, once I was um, separated and um, having a, a six year old and then getting pregnant with um, a, a child who had Down syndrome and not knowing anything about that and just kind of like being left to hang on my own, not a dime, hadn't worked in 14 years and just kind of like had to build everything on my own and start from scratch. Um, bold enough and brave enough to leave the state where I was living, move someplace where I knew nobody, had nobody, had no help, just bold, just started from scratch and did everything that I needed to do for me and for my kids, you know? And then being able to, to, to handle all that and say, you know what, I think I'm gonna build a business. I'm gonna figure this out. And I am at a point now where um, fortunately because of the circumstances and because of the talents that I've had, you know, such a blessing that I'm grateful for. I don't take none of the credit for that, but like, um, being able to drive Uber and Lyft, I was able to do that to kind of keep things afloat. But now, um, you know, I've, I've been able to, with my businesses and with my EIN numbers, and even as myself as a sole proprietor with my social security number, I've been able to secure loans with the Small Business Association, the SBA, Again, I'm telling you guys, I have no degree or anything like that. Um, before I got married, I was working um, for um, attorneys. I was a legal secretary for about 10 years. And so I learned a lot, of course, in that profession. And then um, so when it came time to start, like, you know, doing things on my own, I knew how to research. I knew how to understand, you know, legal language and I knew how to read in between the lines. I knew how to, um, I, I understood the fine print. So um, that is what kind of led me to help other people when it came to like loans and qualifying and um, you know, what everything meant for them to be able to differentiate um, the, you know, the qualifications, the qualifications, because a lot of people were intimidated by that. And they felt like, well, I'm not really a business. Um, <laughs> one of my mentors, one of his favorite, one of my favorite lines that he says is your business is your business. It's not anybody else's business, what your business is. And so that's, that, that's very empowering because that lets you know too, that whatever it is you say your business is, that's all that uh, the IRS needs to hear. They'll give you a few categories and then a, a few subcategories to choose from. One of them even being miscellaneous. 
that shows you how broad it is, how broad it can be. And then when you go ahead and you decide that that's what your business is, and then you start, um, you know, um, using certain expenses for your business, now you, you, you're creating leverage financially for yourself and for your household. But, but basically, what I'm trying to say is some of the things that you guys may already be doing, you can turn into a business. And a lot of this actually happens organically. Um, I was explaining to somebody earlier, it's like, you know, if you, maybe you cut lawns or do lawn work. And you may have your kids help you. So that's a business. And you already have employees. Um, what if you just, you know, you're not a beautician. You don't work out of a shop. You don't work in, in a hair salon. But you do some real good hair. And everybody comes to you to get their hair done at your house. You are a business entity. You just haven't had your tax ID number yet. You just haven't gotten your business formation documents yet. And you have been missing out on itemizations for years. That's the other beautiful thing about having a business when you get, um, you know, someone on your side who's your advocate and they will actually take the time and sit down with you and walk you through the process of what you can claim you can get back thousands of dollars. Um, and what I love about that, which is why, you know, I brought up how we need this during this, uh, these economic times. If you did something like that, then the, the, you know, the person in me who budgets screams at you to please take your return and use it to supplement your income over the entire year. You know, don't, don't spend that money on um, large ticket items and splurging and things that are unnecessary, things that are not going to sustain you. You would use that money to help you get from point A to point B. And in this case, I would say point A to point B would be going from nine to five to just, you know, working from home or just working on your own and not needing the nine to five anymore. So these are some of the things that I'll, you know, I'm really trying to help people to appreciate that it's really simple. Again, I'm not trying to profess to be anybody that I'm not. <laughs> I'm just a mom of two um, who is, you know, doing her thing with uh, taxes, herbalism, um, fitness, uh, and now, you know, we're teaching people how to start their own businesses. So basically it's, it, it may seem like it's not, um, you know, all that easy, but it truly is. And again, like I said, you know, you just get the right people on your side or you do some YouTubing, you do some Googling and you can find out all the answers you need. It's really not complicated at all. Yeah. Oh. Um... With that being said, uh, when you do decide to start your business, you're going to have support groups. You see how many people are in this group right now. Just imagine if everybody in this group had their own business and you could bounce ideas off of each other and just know that uh, there are a lot of people out here that's doing the same thing as you, right? But as a single person, as a, uh, as a business for yourself, there's no way for me to come out and service everybody that I come in contact with. So right now, I know there's at least three or four herbalists in this group, right? And we don't say, oh, well, those are my customers. You know, uh, you know we don't fight over that. Why? Because I know that even if July goes in and takes the whole state, <laughs> there's 49 other states out here that have people that have a need for your service. And the, your customers are out here. You just have to get yourself out 
and and just basically put yourself out there so that you can go ahead and start making the money that you want to make and and get the money that you want to see. So, I mean, July pretty much hit on everything else, but just do it. You can't if you don't if you don't put yourself out there and do it, you're just gonna be sitting there talking about what if, what if, what if. Mm-hmm. I could have did this. I should have did this. And guess what? Those are tax write-offs. That's how you do it. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So you know, and then you know what uh, the people that we have that are helping us with the taxes, the the CPAs and the tax preparers, they'll let you know uh, when you tell them what you want to do, mm-hmm. uh, how you should go about this. Yeah. So I'm getting to the point now, you know, I'm funding myself to the point where it's like, okay, I need to hire employees. I cannot do herbs, fitness. I can't do the Zooms. I'm trying to do courses. I've been teaching herbal courses. I've been teaching business, um, which takes up a lot of time just to make sure that everything is everything for everybody. Um, and tax, like everything. It's I can't do it all. <laughs> I'm not one of those that likes to settle. I know that um, it's wise to pick one and stick with one and be successful with it. But guys, it's too late for that. Like I've started eBooks. Um, like I said, I got courses in the works. Um, I've got my social networks. So I'm funding myself so that I can hire everything that I need, including a marketing team, once I get every, oh, I got a YouTube channel. I have to stop what I'm doing because I do all of that on my own. Like if I want to have a really good edited video, that takes time. But I don't have anybody working for me yet. Um, so, but like, that's what I mean when I say these things can happen organically. You'll find people along your journey who want to support you, who like what you're doing, and they want to be on your team. And so fortunately, we've had a couple people um, join us today on one of our um, sessions that we were doing with, uh, it was like a consultation session. And we just had them join us. We allowed them to see what happens. And then we asked them if that's something that they think they would like to do is um you know like gather the information the way we did answer questions the way we did but it's funny how when you have people helping you now you realize you're in a position where you know i could actually send um, some w-4 forms into the irs let them know i have employees and then now you have employees, you know, and then when you, you know, a lot of you have heard of that SBA loan that they were doing where they had the free grant and the grant was based off of um, how many employees you had, $1,000 per employee, up to 10 employees. So, you know, um, there's so much more available to us when we become a business entity. Um, but yeah. I just wanted to throw that out there. I'm like, you guys, I, I want to show you some way, a, a couple of ways you could be creative. So that's one of them. But yeah, um, does anybody have any questions or anything? Oh, it's a lot in the chat. Let me see what's going on in here. Uh, I didn't even realize there was so much going on in the chat. Um, Shonda, yep. Oh, Shonda, that's awesome. You can do so much with that. Like, I, there was so many, um, like, I have, so many, I have so many e-books in the works. And one of, a girl who works for Facebook helped me get over 10,000 followers on my Facebook page. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce you to her, Shonda, or Shanda. Am I saying your name right? Is it Shanda? <laughs> Shanda, Shanda, let me see. And then um, I'm, I'm going to help you with that. And then let's see. Yolanda, thank you. Thank you, Yolanda. Is that Shanda? Let's see. Well, Shanda, you said that's where you're at. Okay. Um, T. Garrison, yes, that's what I mean. Um, 
We've been tra- we've been trying to change our lingo lately. Let's see. Queen Sabrina says, "Do I have a list of CPAs? I have a couple of CPAs. Um, I have two, maybe three. I, I don't know if the third one is a CPA, but I do know that she knows her stuff, and she's been doing this for decades. So she's no amateur. Um, let's see. I'm gonna read this message and answer your question. Let's see." Okay. Okay. So a person is asking about, you know, if you're already kind of established. You've got you've got customers and you kind of have your, you know, your thing going with your business. Um yeah, you would you would get an EIN and you would you would decide what type of business entity you want to become. You would decide if you wanted to be um, a sole proprietor. In your case, I would say maybe an LLC just to protect yourself um, because you're a limited liability company, and um, there are states that have more protection than others when it comes to becoming an LLC. So the next steps I would definitely say would be um, going to irs.gov, getting your EIN number, and then figuring out which type of business entity you want to become. And so, um, like Shane said, you know, herbalists, like, we don't care. You know, I share my recipes with people and everything. Um, I'm successful with my recipes because of my creativity. So um, nobody can come up with what I come up with. And if I give them something that I do come up with, I don't care because I'm going to keep coming up with other stuff. Like it's endless. So when it comes to me explaining to you what you need to do, yes, um, Shane and I, we do do that kind of thing. But um, a lot of people hire folks because they don't want to do it. (laughs) So I have no problem with telling you, yes, you would need to get an EIN and you would need to get your business formation documents, meaning If you decide to become an LLC, you need to go to your secretary of state um, online and, you know, get your uh, articles of incorporation. And I know it sounds a little bit, you know, funky, but, um, you know, YouTube, Google, um, a lot of times you're going to get Rocket, is it Rocket? Rocketlawyer.com or something. And also the other major one is LegalZoom. So, you know, they have a whole lot of easy answers for you. Um, Okay, I hear you, Shonda. Let's see. Yes, Lady B and Shonda. Okay, okay, cool. (laughs) I don't know. I said it both ways now. I don't know which one I said. Um, Coaching, oh, let me, this is private. Let's see. That's perfect. That's perfect um, about coaching. Let's see. Okay. Yep. I sure can. I can help you. I sure will help you with that. Um, the health side of it, no doubt. And by the way, I am um, Herbalist July on Facebook. So you can reach out to me there if you're not on Telegram. If you're on Telegram, I am July Read in the groups. So because I, I know I put this out to a couple different groups. So I'm not sure where everybody is coming from. Um, So if you want more um, answers where that's concerned, if you would like to join us on Monday evenings, um, and I'm I'm not sure if you're in our Telegram group, but there's more information in there. And then you can, uh, you know, attend the Zoom and we'll be happy to answer your questions there. But we don't want to turn this into a selling point or a package for everybody because that's not what this meeting is for. Today, I'm just trying to really help people to appreciate that they can empower themselves by starting their own businesses. Anybody looking to do anything with their businesses? Anybody already have a business? Sorry. <laughs> um, so I got a couple of things um, like in the works or whatever. I'm a nurse. Okay. Um, I'm currently getting a PIC certification so that I can uh, learn how to insert PIC lines. Okay. Um, and I kind of wanted to venture out and do that as an independent contractor, maybe like for long-term care homes where patients mm-hmm. aren't able to, it costs more to transport them to a hospital versus mm-hmm. having someone come in and do it at the bedside. Mm-hmm. Um, I just finished a little 
portion of the course today. So hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I'll be um, good with that. It's funny that you're an herbalist. The universe just brings things full circle because <laughs> if I ever want to go back and get my second master's, I always wanted it to be in holistic medicine okay. um, versus, uh, yeah, conventional medicine pays my bills. But um, if mm -hmm. I I can do anything naturally I try to go that route first <laughs> so okay. I'm really interested in um, connecting and seeing if um, there's some things I can learn from you as far as the, the herbalism goes so oh, for sure for sure <laughs> if you want to um, like I have a group that I just started on Facebook too so if you if if you're on Facebook um, herbalist July on Facebook but also um, if not if we're on telegram together please reach out to me mm -hmm. on there and okay. we definitely can hook up Appreciate you allowing people to answer questions uh, or ask questions, I should say, and being so nice about it. Thank, Thank y'all. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, Shane. Let me move up. I see you. I see you, Shane. It's cool. Uh, yes. Uh, well, I. Uh, hi. Hi, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so um, we have several businesses, but recently um, I got a, an EIN and we were looking at doing a group home, okay. um, but we ran into some issues with city codes mm -hmm. um, that you can't, you know, not more than one group home can be within a thousand feet of each other. Oh. So we have a home that we moved out of and um, we're possibly looking at either renting rooms or considering doing Airbnb. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any knowledge or any association with anyone that has done an Airbnb I with do. their home that could um, guide us through that process? I do. Um, I could, let me do, maybe I could do it right now while I'm talking, but um, there's a wonderful young lady on there and um, I'm going to hook you up with her. Okay. And Perfect. she's going to be able to give you all the information you need. Her name is um, Charity. Let me see what Charity's name is, you guys. Um, everybody, I encourage you to look up Charity. <laughs> look up Charity Angel. So I'm going to hook you up with her. Um, this, this young lady is brilliant, you guys. Um, charity she um she runs several businesses mm -hmm. including airbnb she she's very successful um she also runs um adult daycare or i guess i i don't, I don't believe she has technically a nursing home but, so she um, probably does like respite care yeah maybe maybe something similar to that but yeah mm -hmm. she um she, I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I love networking <laughs> and this lady, she's a, she's a wonderful um, entrepreneur and she has, there was a post she did that talked about how she leveraged her businesses during COVID mm -hmm. and she was able to get, she was able to make about like a quarter of a million dollars. Wow. Yeah, and, and all different to her. things. Yeah, for sure. She's that that young lady is brilliant. And then you know, there's a couple other people that I network with on there, and two of them are CPAs. So okay, excellent, okay. excellent. Okay, and thank then, you. Chicago, I'm looking forward to talk with you. You're welcome. I'm glad that you joined me, and thank you for you know coming and asking your questions. But you said you have a business, but no sales yet. Um. Have you have you done your any marketing yet? How how are things going? So I've I've started the YouTube okay. and Instagram, but my circle is very small. Okay. So I don't really I, I'm I don't know if I'm marketing. I I understand. I hear, I hear you. Well, you know I was taught by the best. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to share some of my tips with you that he shared with me. Um, and I can show you how to get that going. I would love that. Yeah. And then, like I said, I know a girl who may be willing. I don't know what she's doing now, 
But um, I mean, she still, I do know for a fact that she still works for Facebook. But when I say I don't know what she's doing now, I know she was taking on a lot of projects and then she had a hard time taking on more. But she may be someone who's willing to help you boost your um, sales. Um, and if she is busy, she may be able to refer us to somebody. Okay. You Great. Know? I'll take any help I can get. Yeah, okay. No struggle here. So yeah, I know I know how it is, girl. <laughs> okay, let me read this message. Looking to step it up. Okay. I want to move forward. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's good. So um I got your private message. Um <clears throat> most of us are looking to step it up. And I understand that. So, yeah, you, like I said, use your story. People like to hear your story. They like to hear your personal experiences. And when you add that to what you have, let's say, you know, everybody's out there exercising. Everybody's out there doing fitness. But if they see you, your transformation or if you tell them about a transformation that you you've had in the past or maybe some of your obstacles and how you've overcome those obstacles you're going to gain a lot of followers a lot of people who just want to who can relate to you um, i remember when i was first trying to get back into fitness because i I've, I've had my fitness business since 2009 um, and I was in the best shape of my life when I was doing that. But then when I had my latest, you know, my last son, <laughs> latest, like he's a gym shoe edition. When I had my last son, it took a lot for me to get back to, or rather to establish my new normal. And so when I started doing fitness again, I was like, I'm my own brand. I'm my own product. I can't just be throwing myself out there. But then people were like, you know, that's the furthest from the truth. You know more than anybody that people want to see your transformation. And I'm like, well, I want to be the way I looked in 20, 2009. <laughs> They're like, but you're not. So, you know, so do, do what you can, even if it is in front of the camera, be, because people like that and they can relate to that. I'm 45 years old. There's a lot of women out there who are trying to live their best life in their 40s, 50s, 60s. And if they see someone doing it in front of them, then that's how you can step that up. That's how you can step that up. You'll have people um, following you and wanting to do more with you and so yeah that's how you can become a little bit more committed another way to become more committed try what i tried i told um a group of girls that i would work out with them on saturdays i started this zoom and i played a youtube video and we all did it together it was a workout video on youtube it wasn't even me leading the class so when I get to the point where I want to do my own leading and I'll start doing my own videos and that'll be part of my fitness course, then so be it. But in the meantime, you guys, please just start. Just do what you have to do to start. Um, because even, let's say, for instance, if I wanted to make a course out of something like this, asking people to come and hear me out, um, that right there in itself is, you know, enough to get started. And you don't have to worry about stressing yourself over, oh, I don't have things, you know, I don't have a backdrop. I don't, you know, have the perfect camera lighting. People just want information and they want to see your effort. And if they can relate to you, you've got everything you need right there. So let's see, you said, what's her name again? You need to reach out to for social. Oh, I didn't give her name. I, she's a little bit private. So I would rather give her name one-on-one -on -one rather than put it out here. So are you talking about, uh, oh, are you, oh, you're talking about charity. Charity is um, Charity Angel. But then the other girl, I didn't give her name. I know how she is. <laughs> She's a little shy. But um, please look up Charity Angel, C-H-A-R-I-T-Y, 
and then Angel. And I think she has all these groups and you'll be able to see some of them on her Facebook page. Um, I'll have to post it in the chats. Darlene, yet yeah, you would love her. Okay, good. She would love to help you ladies. Um, okay, uh, you're welcome, you're welcome. Anybody else have any questions or any? Oh, let me move my thing back up, see if there's any hands raised. Okay. So if anybody um, else has any questions, um, or if you don't rather, we won't take up too much more of your time. Uh, it's been about an hour now. Nobody has anything else, then we'll go ahead and end it here. Um, Angela, are you still here? Let's see, where is the, it's not in alphabetical order, but okay. Well, I'll see you guys in the chat, I guess, back on Telegram. Oh, let me see what this is saying in the, in here. Okay, you're welcome, guys. Thank you all so much. Hope everybody has a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs>